moment was incredible uh, to be able to celebrate a uh, Big Ten championship with my teammates. Um, it's, it's an incredible moment, and I, I couldn't be more thankful. I couldn't want to be a part of another team anymore. I love these guys. It's just been an incredible moment uh, this last hour, really just trying to celebrate and enjoy it as much as I can and cherish every moment. From start to finish, it seems like explosive plays were really the key. You know, what was kind of your confidence level and, and what was helping you when you saw those guys making the big plays? Um, uh, that's been the key for our offense all year was the explosive plays. And once those guys outside started making plays and feeling confident, uh, we felt confident in those guys to continue to go do that. So we just trusted them, uh, trusted trusted those guys. And a lot did a tremendous job blocking for, for me and for Saquon and our backs, picking up some pressures and uh, you know, stopping a really tough front seven. So I think that was, that was a big part of it. And just the confidence those guys were playing with knew we could throw it up to them and uh, let them go make plays. How good was it to see somebody like Deshaun Hamilton really getting in there and making big plays? It was awesome to see Ham doing that. Um, you know, all year he's kind of just been uh, waiting his turn, just, but he's continued to come and work every single day. Uh, not, you know, never complaining that he might not be getting as many balls as he wants. Um, we just continue to work, and you know, he, he always comes to me and says, you know, trust me, I'm going to make the play. Um, and today was one of his days where you know, he was able to get a couple one-on-one -on -one coverages, and he was able to go out and make the play and come down with the ball. And, you know, I, I was stoked to be able to see him make that play. And when a guy like that is playing with the kind of confidence as you can kind of see it in his eye, that you know, he throw the ball to him, he's going to come down with it. And it seems like the ability to battle back is just something that's signature to Penn State this year. What does it say about the heart and fight of the team? Uh, that we never have any quit in us. Um, you know, this, this team's got a ton of heart. Um, you might want to say the heart of a lion. Uh, this team is incredible. Uh, not, there's never any quitting us. We get down. There's never anyone uh, you know, putting their head down, hanging their head. Uh, everyone's got their head up. Everyone on the sidelines, you know, continuing, continuing to say, you know, keep believing, keep believing, keep, keep pushing through. Uh, and we, yeah, we're just trusting each other and trusting our scheme and trusting this team. Uh, and I think that's been big for us, and we've been able to come, we could come down from a lot. Um, when I saw the Confinity drop, I uh, had a flashback to all the hard work we put in the offseason. Uh, obviously, every team in college football is working just as hard, but when you see it paid off, it makes it so much more special. Obviously, a little bit of a tough start there in the in the first half. How important was it to just keep battling back and persevering? Uh, really important. Um, we just couldn't panic. Uh, we've been in a situation before uh, plenty of times, and this team don't have quit in them. Uh, anytime, and wherever the scoreboard is, we are confident enough that we can make plays and uh, put ourselves in a position to win the game still. So uh, when we're in the locker room, we just said don't panic. Come out and play our game. Uh, we've been a second half year team, second half team all year, and we're able to come out and show that. And then coming out there in the second half and scoring on your guys' first opportunity, how important was that? Uh, first of all, defense did a great job of getting the ball back to us, uh, forcing a field goal, and uh, they missed the field goal, and uh, set us up with a great uh, field position. And uh, there's little things like that in a, in a championship game that going to be winning games. And uh, Sae made a tremendous catch for us and was able to get an end zone for us and kind of start that little drive that we had going in the second half. And we saw you being able to break away, break free with some really explosive plays. What were the keys there and what was kind of working for you? Uh, the keys there were the O-line. Uh, we knew how good uh, Wisconsin defense was. Uh, a lot of people thought it was going to be a low scoring Big Ten football game. Uh, my mindset was different. I knew it was going to be a tough physical game, but uh, I felt like we were able to put some points on the board, and uh, especially with Dromo and how explosive these guys are around us. But the O line did a tremendous job for uh, the running backs, me, Andre, Mark, and Miles, and increasing us against uh, opportunities against to open to the second level. You know, we, we've been through so much adversity. You know, we, we, we've been through some tough times over the past couple of years, and even through this year. You know, but you know, to finally be a part of the, be a part of the team that kind of brings Penn State back. You know, it's an unbelievable feeling. Coach Franklin said on Friday that you know a word that you would use to describe the team is persevere. Yeah. You know, not just this entire season and not just this entire game, but you know, what does that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, it, it means a lot. You know, and, and we understand that as a team. You know, we, we've persevered through a lot of things. You know, we persevere all season. You know, we, we fought through a lot of adversity. You know, so you know, for us to be a bunch of fighters, like I said last week, you know, it, it really showed. You know, we, we never really wavered. Obviously, obviously, a little bit of a tough start out there. What was the adjustment that you guys made to be able to start clicking with Trace and getting those big plays? Yeah, I mean, it was just one. Of, it wasn't really much of an adjustment. More so, just we had to go out and make the plays. You know, and in the first half, we had some turnovers. You know, that that were you know caused by us. You know, things that we that could have been avoided. You know, so we we realized that we we couldn't make those mistakes if we wanted to win against a great football team. You know, so we came out and, and Trace gave us some opportunities. You know, make plays, and, and we did. How good did it make you feel to know that you have Trace's confidence? Yeah, no, it, it, it feels amazing. You know, you know, Trace is a, is a competitor. You know, we, we go to work with him every day. You know, so he, he, we know that he trusts us. We trust him. You know, 100%. You know, so we're we're gonna ride with that guy. That's our guy. 
and how exciting was it to see uh, a guy like Deshaun Hamilton, somebody who was such a leader on this team, you know, how exciting was it to be able to see him making those big plays out there today? Yeah, I was I was extremely excited for him. I, I can't explain how, how happy I was for him and SIA, you know, you know, for the, for the year to have gone, like how, how it's been, you know, obviously, you know, they wish that, you know, they could have made, you know, more contributions, but for them to show out in a game like, like this, you know, I'm I can't be more happy for those guys, man. Those those my guys. I love those guys. And so to see them see them balling out, it makes me happy. It was amazing, you know, us to go out here and accomplish everything that we've been able to throughout this whole season, and then finally, you know, topping it off with the Big Ten championship win is amazing. Uh, you know, you saw it in the game. You know, down 21 points at one point, and. Just being able to battle back from that and, you know, just clawing and scratching our way back and being able to take the lead and maintain it, that really just, you know, describes our whole season and describes what type of team we've been able to be all year. We saw you out there today making some absolutely huge plays. What can you say about your connection with Trace? Uh, well, basically, it's just all the hard work that me and Trace and you know, all the other wide receivers have put in all season and even in the off season. You know, it's just everything comes to show on, on Saturdays. You know, all the hard work that you've been doing, all the training that you've been preparing for this moment, and that's basically what it was. As such a leader on this team, what were you kind of saying to the guys during the first half to just kind of keep telling them to keep going and moving forward? I was just telling them that we've been in this situation before. You know, unfortunately, last time we weren't able to capitalize when we were able to come. Back, but you know, at the end of the day, we just had to take care of business, and we knew exactly what we wanted out of this. And for us to you know basically claw back like we did in the past in the past games, and you know come out on top, it basically describes the type of team we've been all year. What does it mean to you to be able to have such a big game on such a big stage? It means a lot. You know, basically just going through the type of year that I've been through and being able to come forth and, and provide for my team and have the type of production that I did today. It was an amazing feeling and you know for all my teammates to have my back throughout the season and, and you know never let me get too high, never let me get too low on any type of feelings and things like that. I, I give a credit to them because they've really just helped me through all of this. It's surreal. I mean this it's like destiny. Uh, I mean these guys never gave up. You know, I mean time and time again we've gone into halftime whether it's down ten plus points. I mean we're down what twenty eight to seven. And these guys they they just don't give up. I mean, they believe in each other like crazy, and to me, it's just surreal. It's, it's just, it was destiny. We were so happy and, and so, so proud of everybody in this room. Being able to fight back from such a big deficit, what was it that it says really about the heart of this team? I mean, we, we just don't ever give up. I mean, regardless of the circumstances, the way we play, you know, doesn't change. And I think in that second half, you really saw us. I mean, we just surged. And when that momentum swung to our side, I mean, it never went back. I mean, it never went back. What was the moment where you felt like the momentum was shifting? What was that like? I think, you know, we came in the, wa the locker room. We said, second half. You know, we know what we do in the second half. We went out there, and, and we said, you know, in the, in, the, in the locker room, we said, hey, we're going to get a three and out, and we're going to score immediately. And we went out there, we got a stop, you know, they missed a field goal, and, and we went out and scored immediately, and it was just like the momentum just completely just swung, and that, that was a turning point to me. Defensively, what did you feel like, you know, you guys maybe adjusted, or what kind of started to click to make things fit a little bit better? Yeah, you know, I think we got our feet dug in, and when our defensive line was able to play on their their side of the line of scrimmage, I think in that first half we kind of played on our heels, and, and once the confidence grew, and, and we kind of got our feet, you know, feet in the ground and kind of ready to go, and we were, we were able to make plays. You know, this has been an unbelievable night, um, but it's also been an unbelievable journey for this entire team, coaching staff, fans. Uh, you know, everybody deserves this win. Um, you know, we couldn't have done it without our, without our fans. You know, in that third and fourth quarter, it was like we were playing in Beaver Stadium again. You know, it was so loud in here. We appreciate them so much, and without them, this opportunity wouldn't be possible. I feel like we talk about it every Saturday, but the Kasiki catch, mm. you know, your ability to get high in the air and just grab the ball. What can you say about, you know, your first big touchdown score and, you know, what you were, what was going through your mind? Yeah, that's a play that, you know, Coach Moore has been calling for us all season long. There's a bunch of options to get the ball in that play. Um, and I was able to, uh, you know, beat the corner that was guarding me. Uh, Trace, you know, I can't thank him enough and be more appreciative of the opportunity that he gave me, just, you know, trusting in me and just putting that one up. Offensive line did a phenomenal job blocking. And, uh, you know, I saw that ball in the air, and Coach Moorhead said yesterday when the ball's in the air, it's not a 50 50 ball, it's a 100 0 ball. So uh, we got to go get it. That's exactly what I did, and it was an unbelievable atmosphere to score a touchdown in. How much has your relationship and chemistry grown with Trace this year? Yeah, I think that it's grown tremendously since, you know, spring ball through fall camp and now through, I think, what was tonight, the 13th game of the season, Big Ten Championship on the biggest stage. I think it showed with a bunch of the receivers. Everybody was making plays, uh, you know, whether it was Saquon out there catching the touchdowns, Saeed with two touchdowns, Deshaun, you couldn't be more happy for him making big plays. Chris was Chris, you know, like he always is. And then myself, uh, you know, 
very appreciative of all this stuff and uh, you know this relationship that we've all built with Trace has been awesome. What was the key to kind of the offense being able to connect on those big plays, especially with the Wisconsin secondary being as good as it is? Yeah, uh, Wisconsin's a great team. You got to give credit where credit's due. Um, but you know we're a great offense as well. We've been making plays all season long, and uh, you know Coach Moorhead's done a great great job all season long. You know making uh, making the the right call to put us in a position to be successful, and then we just take advantage of the opportunity when, when we're given it. I came here to win Big Ten championships uh, with Joe Paterno, with Coach O'Brien, now Coach Franklin. I've seen guys leave, guys stay. Um, you know, and for it to kind of end like this is kind of. Kind of crazy. It's like a storybook ending, to be honest with you. So. When you were up there on that stage with Coach Franklin and the rest of the seniors, what was going through your mind being up there with such a class that's endured so much? Uh, we have. We, we've been through hell and back. Uh, no bowl games, sanctions, this, that, and the third. And we just kept fighting and fighting and fighting. And, you know, this team is special. This, this university is special. And, you know, I'm glad to be a part of it. And focusing in a little bit on Wisconsin, Obviously, a little bit of a tough start. You know, what was the change? You know, something that sparked the, the momentum shift. Uh, we just. It's, it's hard to put us away, to be honest with you. We're going to keep clawing and, and, and fighting until we get a W, and that's what we did today. We just kept clawing and fighting, and, you know, obviously the outcome kind of worked in our favor. So When you look at kind of the defensive effort as a whole, you know, what was something that you guys felt like you did really well and something that you felt like you really started clicking with? Uh, we, we need more turnovers. We didn't have no turnovers, but at the end of the day, we got the W, so that's all that matters. Guys like Trap stepped in. Guys played well on special teams. Coach called a great game. Coach Moorhead is the most confident coach in, in the country. He's just like, look, we got this. He's just so calm. So that's that's kind of what happened. It feels like everything for us to come back from that deficit and, and get through the adversity is the best feeling in the world. What can you say about you know your chemistry with Trace you know, throughout the season and especially today? Well, we just work so hard in practice, and whenever we have like this stage right here, we when we get a play call or a certain route, we've done it so many times in practice. <clears throat> so when it happens in the game, we're able to execute it. What did it mean to you to have so much confidence from Trace? It, it was everything because we all work the same. We all go to the same, go through the same grind throughout the season and throughout practice. So like for us to go out here and display it for the world was everything. This was amazing. It seemed like you know coming out in the second half there was a total shift in momentum. How important was being able to score on that first opportunity in the second half? It was a great uh, way for us to get our offense back rolling and for us to get in the right direction and get everything back to how we usually play in those nine games. What's next for you guys? Just be appreciative of the next opportunity we have. We don't know yet, but we're just happy for it.